Hey guys, welcome to episode one of Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. This is a series I've now officially been playing for over six years, and I'm really excited to see the third installment. It's been out for about a year now, I think, but uh, I've been playing some MMOs and some other things, so I've been putting it off, and uh, hopefully you've watched my first two Let's Plays of Origins and uh, Dragon Age 2, as well as the Let's Play Dragon Age Awakening for the expansion for the first game, uh, because I have imported those saves via the keep into this one. So it's kind of a continuation of one big story. Uh, I'm going into this game almost totally unspoiled. I know I can count on one hand the number of things I know, and they're all very minor. Um, I know who the main bad guy is. Thank you, Wikipedia, but that's not. I don't think it's going to be a big spoiler. Spoiler. I know what the main plot or the main threat to Tyria, or Tyria, the main threat to uh, Thetis is, but that's on the cover of the game, so not really a spoiler. And I know a handful of people that can appear in this game, but they're all pretty obvious. Um, so, yeah, I guess let's go ahead and get started then. Alright, there's the character. Okay, character creation, obviously. Um, hopefully the import worked successfully. I'm, I'm pretty sure it did. So we can choose to be a human, an elf. That is not at all what elves look like, but okay. I guess those are very, like, caricatures, kind of. A dwarf or a quinari. Um, oh, they get plus 10% damage physical resistance. They get the... 25% bonus to magic defense. Elves get a bonus to range defense. And bonus ability point. That's kind of cool, too. Um, oh, you can change male. I like the females the default. That's a nice kind of touch. That Males are always the default in video games. Anyway, um, we'll actually be playing as a female because uh, I want to play as a mage since I always play as a mage in my first playthrough of a game. I just naturally tend to enjoy the mage classes more. Uh, but I already did a male mage for uh, Dragon Age Origins for that Let's Play. So I'm going to do a female one just to be different. So I guess I'll do a, a Leovara playthrough. Um, I can't decide between elf and human. So I'm going to start with elf because I've done two human playthroughs. I'd rather have made Hawk an elf, but Hawk can only be a human. So let's select elf. And it's, I'm, I'm going to get to a point where once we get to like, the actual like character creation where you design the character, I will do a, a jump forward so you guys don't have to watch me fiddle with like nose width for half an hour and all that stuff. Um, so the same three class. No, there's more than three classes. Oh, you choose right off the bat. Do you want to be a rogue dual wield? Do you want to be a rogue archer? A warrior two-handed? A warrior weapon and shield? Or a mage? Okay, at least you don't have to break down the mage. I wasn't sure what type of mage I wanted to be. Just that I want to be a mage. Um, see, they don't they have debilitating opponents, protecting allies, or unleashing devastating elemental energy. Not really a healing thing, which is kind of unfortunate because I like playing a healing class, but, um... This can still be a lot of fun. So we're going to do a mage. And we're going to see what the elves look like. If they look like the elves in the second game, I'm probably going to change it. Um, Alright, so the difficulty... I'm going to do it on normal because I've never played this game before. I have no idea how the combat system works. And for a let's play, I, normal is usually the best bet. So it's not like super easy and boring, but it's also not so hard that I keep dying all the time and have to replay zones over and over again. I'll probably die on occasion, just be warned, but um, probably not too much. Alright, so... Okay, so there's a character summary. See, I don't want to. I don't want to spend too much time on this when I kind of might not might not even play an elf. But um, I'm not going to read all of these. Oh. Yes, but what did I? Why did that come up? I didn't click on it. Oh, I guess I already clicked on something. Okay. I want to go back first, though. All right. No, I want to. Well, yes, I'm afraid it won't. Do. Okay, thank you. Character creation. Oh, are these cards? They're okay, so it's not a choice. These are all the same choice, I guess. You have to be a Dalish elf. You grew up in the wilderness, a member of the Lavalin Dalish clan, apprentice to the leader and keeper, leader and guide the keeper. Wandered the northern free marches, and you had little need to interact with humans until the keeper sent you to the Chantry's conclave as a spy. What happened there, she said, would impact not only the Dalish but indeed all elves. She could not have known how right she was. I wonder if this is the conclave that Wynn refers to in Awakening, or if this is a later one. Um, I guess the mage circles have lots of conclaves between all of them. There's only 14 circles, so it's not hard to get a representative or a few from each to meet together. Uh, sounds like a good place to start the game. Okay, so let's select this. Yes, okay, for the third time. Sorry, guys. Um, now that I know what this means. I was thinking it was like a choice between different like origin stories, but it's not. Right here we go. 
I'm guessing it's going to put you into the story first before you design your character, like Dragon Age 2 did. Um, okay, this is a loading screen. Took me a second to realize that, but it is. It's a nice uh, image, though. So yeah, I'm gonna. I don't want to play like a pro. Well, I don't like that they make you choose your race and then do the prologue. Cause I don't want to choose the race until I'm designing the actual character appearance, because they're kind of related. Oh, this is not a loading screen. This is a. Maybe it is a loading screen, but you have different tips you can go through. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I see the loading icon. All right, here we go. Maybe. I don't know why it's taking so long. I have a really fast computer. I mean, it's on high graphics, but I guess I could turn those down. I don't really need super high graphics. I was just trying to push it. But I mean, my computer should be able to run anything this game can put out. It is not saved on my solid state drive, though. It is on my hard drive because I didn't want to, to eat up room on my solid state drive. So maybe that was a poor choice. If the load screens continue like this, I will turn down the graphics and see if that helps any. Because this is, this is a long load time. This reminds me of um, playing Morrowind on the Xbox. Oh, here we go. I guess that's the default appearance of me. The graphics are good. All right, there we go. So, okay, the elves actually look okay. I might, maybe I will stick with an elf. I was kind of thinking I would probably reconsider. Um, so I guess you choose one and then you can customize it. All right. Test voice. How much is this going to cost me exactly? I assume it's voiced in the same way Dragon Age 2 is. I just hope I can help. How much is this going to cost me exactly? Sounds like, yeah, there's one female voice that does all the female characters. All the female player characters, that is. Um, I'm going to customize that. I just need a base one to start with. I don't know if it really matters at all. Let's go with that one. All right, so this is the part where I basically go through and spend all day customizing my character. So I'm going to splice the video, and I will be back when I'm done. All right, and we're back. This is our character, Leavara. Um, as predicted, this took me way longer than it should have. I spent at least an hour last night fiddling around with this thing, and this character creator is so in-depth, which is cool in a way, but also a little dangerous, because unless you're like an experienced like facial modeler or a graphic designer or a, an expert in human proportions, it's really easy to make an ugly-looking, odd-looking character and you can't really figure out why. So I had to restart this a couple times, and uh, I was trying to make an elf that kind of had a unique look, but looked attractive, but still elfy in a way. And the hardest part, actually, my first couple tries, I, like she looked pretty good from the front, and then you turned her sideways, and her face, like her facial structure looked like an entirely different person. Like it didn't look like the side of her face belonged to the front of her face. And you also have to make sure like this kind of profile isn't too weird. You still have that little bit of like whatever bone that is beneath your eye there. But I don't know if there's a way to change that. And I kind of feel like part of like the elfish facial structure is already set in a way that makes it more suitable to certain facial styles than others. Um, I'm actually really happy with this one because when I started this try, I started with a more rounded face because that seemed to actually be fitting the side proportions better. And then I kind of tweaked it to make it a little more similar. I, I took screenshots of the previous uh, like slider values I had before. Um, I tried to adjust it more in line with those and kind of got a hybrid that I think actually looks pretty good. Um, it's not perfect, but, you know, people aren't perfect anyway, so I think it'll do. It's kind of a shame there's no black hairstyle, which, I mean, I guess is realistic to a degree, because very few people have actually, like, black, black hair. Um, but it's a dark brown, which hopefully will look even darker in the game. So, and I, I probably would have gone for, like, one shade above totally black anyway, but it's kind of a shame they didn't just let you pick the color. Because I'm just real quick going to go through and show you guys what they give you this is the overall things if you want to make a quick character i would just use these I just hope I can help. you can test the voice so her voice doesn't go 100 percent with what i think her face looks like but it goes well enough and there, there's actually i guess two voice choices so i don't know if they had two voice actresses do the entire game but that's what it sounds like everything you've heard 
completely true. And that doesn't go at all. That's more of like a, I guess, like an older character, or a more like hardened warrior. As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. But I like that there's a choice. It just seems How expensive to record everything twice. Exactly? Um, head and ears, and like honestly, I wouldn't play around with this too much unless you're willing to spend a lot of time getting it right, or if you have some idea what you're doing. Uh, you can also find some guides online I looked at briefly, like to show like facial proportions and things like that. I still feel like, I don't know, maybe the eyes are a little off, but I, I try to keep things to the middle as much as possible, because you know, the, the more you get to the edges of those uh, those sliders, or those square slider things, the uh, the more unhuman like they're going to look. Um, for scars and tattoos, I didn't want to have a scar, but uh, I gave her like a magic looking tattoo, because um, I figure she's a mage, she's Dela, she'd have a tattoo, and that, that one looks kind of cool. Um, you can change the color, you can change the the intensity for the tattoo is just changed with the design itself, so you can see less intense, more intense. This is really intense, but a little bit a little bit too predominant. I kinda like this one. Definitely visible, but not like overwhelmingly so. I tried to make the tattoo color Oh, it's red. I thought I made it blue. Alright, hold that thought. I guess when it's this dark it doesn't really matter. I guess the red kinda matches the brown in her hair a bit, but I was thinking to make it blue, like Lyrium is blue. I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't like this blue, because that's actually blue. When it's when it's practically black anyway. Does the color even matter? Is there any color in there? So you can really get like really custom with this. Like, no two characters will ever look the same here. And it's cool that they did this, but I don't know. At some point I think it becomes a little uh a little risky. Alright, I, I think when this is like all the way in the black zone, it doesn't really matter anyway. We'll do blue for the heck of it, but, um, alright. I see even moving it a little bit out of there. Let's do that, so it has a hint of blue in it. Um, but not too much. Let's see, I don't know, I kind of like the red. Is there even a difference? Am I, am I just seeing things? Ah, what the hell, we'll go with this. Alright, so, yep, this is going to be our character. And uh, once you're done all of that... Oh, uh, for makeup, I took off all the makeup, because they start with so much makeup on. God, like, like I want my character to be like a, a mage and a warrior and an inquisitor, not some princess. So I took away like all of the makeup, because I don't think Dalish Elves would really wear that much makeup. Um, and they still, like, her lips are still way too red. Natural lips usually aren't quite that red, but... um, And apparently I've read that it's actually even more red in-game, but... I think that's okay. See, it's still sh like did I, I thought I turned off like the lip. Yeah, this is with no lip shine, and her lips are still quite reflective. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with it. I like her. It, it took me. Oh, hairstyle. Last thing is hairstyle. The hairstyles in this game suck so badly for all the time they spent on this. The hairstyles are atrocious. There are like only one or two I would even maybe begrudgingly consider. So I am not a person at all to use mods for my first playthrough. Like I, I, I love playing the game as the developers meant it to be. It's vanilla state, but I couldn't go with any of those hairstyles. They were horrible. So I found this really cool. Like, it's like the bun hairstyle, but it replaces it, just lowers the bun, and makes it a little more, a little more hair to it. So I actually really like this one because it looks like she actually has a lot of hair. She's just tying it up for practical purposes, which, as somebody in the, the thick of the fray, that makes a lot of sense. So I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Given that for a while there, I was like getting really frustrated and worried that we were going to be running into issues. I even went and tried a human for a bit, but uh, that wasn't working out that much better. All right, so accept changes. We are going to name her Leovara, and let's play. I had the graphics turned all the way up again. Although when I edit the video, it'll probably be down to like Whatever the, not the super high quality, not 1980, but the one below that, 12 something. So otherwise, it takes hours to render. But it'll still look good. Are we in the phase? That's what it looks like. What are those things? I haven't seen them before. And who is that guy? Must be a dream, yeah. Or maybe not. 
interesting way to start the game. I want to say like that light creature was that like the maker I, or a spirit? I I have no idea. But interesting. Was that a dream or well? I would say was that dream or was that real? Because dreams are real to a degree in this universe. Very interesting. Hopefully having these graphics up high is not going to make the load times really long. Because I did try it when I restarted a second time. There we go. It didn't take as long to load, so I think it might have been a first time thing. So we're in a prison, maybe? Definitely a mage. Ah, uh, but she's shackled, so she can't use her abilities. <gasps> I'm interested to see how her face looks with different facial expressions. Let's see if it actually works. Is that Cassandra? Looks like her. Alright, so far I like it. And who is that? Oh, is that... Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. Hmm. I don't know what happened. Um, I feel like I missed an exciting part of the game, but... Huh. Okay, I guess it just starts after the conclave. So what happened? Uh, I think she's going to remain silent. Explain this. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is or how it got there. You're lying. We need her, Cassandra. It is, yeah. All right, some dialogues give you the opportunity to try. Okay. So we have. Ah, so it's not like a. It's not the same system as DA2 then. So there's like a... You can be sad, you can be tough, you can be confused, or you can be angry. I think she's gonna go with this one. Whatever you think I did, I'm innocent. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember... Running. Things were chasing me and then... A woman? A woman? She reached out to me. But then... Go to the forward camp, Liliana. I will take her to the rift. To the rift. What did happen? It... will be easier to show you. I figure it's okay, too, if her proportions look a little weird, because she is an elf, and their proportions are supposed to be not exactly human. There's the rift. We call it the Breach. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Somehow I'm bound to it. That's interesting. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping it, but there isn't much time. Huh. See, I kind of wish they had started the game, like, like at the Conclave. Like, I would have liked to see, I guess that's not as intense, but um, I kind of would like to see what they were talking about, and then suddenly had, like, everything just, like, that seems like a viral thing to do. It's like, starts you off in this quaint little nice serene area, and then BAM! Something horrible happens, and your entire world is shaken. Um, all right, so let's ask some questions first. You say it may be the key. To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. 
It is our only chance, however. And yours. So it sounds like it's like an extremely large tear in the veil. And those can be closed, but with great difficulty and a lot of time in most cases. Um, but of course, I've never seen that one even nearly that large before. You still think I did this? To myself? Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is. And you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. I wonder if, um... Maybe they're going to have you go back, like, and tell your story and go, it'll, you know, the game will jump back and forward in time like, uh, like it did with Dragon Age 2. Um, she's going to be a helpful person. She's going to be, I think, a very, like, tough and fierce character and proactive, but not, like, selfish or anything. She has a good heart. She's just a little uh, impulsive at times. I understand. Then I'll do what I can, whatever it takes. I think she wants to be a hero in a way. Whereas like my last character was extremely reluctant to be in the midst of things. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy divine justice. Oh, we're in Haven. Of the, Chantry. the conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Was she there? Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves, as she did. And she kill did. the breach is sealed. I don't want the divine to be dead. That would, there would... will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your Wait. mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, let's see. You can look around by holding Ray. Okay, basically typical controls. I did unbound one of my strafing keys, but, um... Can you... Can you not move by holding down both mouse buttons? That's gonna be annoying. Could I do that in DA2? I don't know if I could or not. My creator, judge me this, okay. How do I get rid of this? Thank you. Go away. So, the left and right keys... I might play with this key binding to see if I can make it a little better. Because, uh... Like, left and right are just both turned. Like, none of them actually turns your character. They just turn the uh, direction of the camera. And you can't move with both mouse buttons at the same... By hitting them at the same time, like you can with most games. Alright, this is going to be annoying having to keyboard turn all the time. And even strafing. I, I, I want to rebound e, e and Q to other things. I don't want to be using them for... Strafing, Open the gate. but because we I can't. Alright, because I can't turn with my mouse, I have no choice but to turn with A and D, because. I, mean, I guess I can. Okay, if I turn my camera and then run that way. Okay. So that still kind of works. There we go. If I hold down W as I hold. Okay. That takes some getting used to, but I think I can get used to it. Um, so we'll, we'll go with this for now. I might rebound A and D to strafe instead of turn. I don't want to be keyboard turning. It takes forever. See, like, that's, not, that's not even turning. That's camera. Oh, they both camera turn. Okay, so there is no actual character turning then. Well, in that case, I'll rebound to strafing, but I'll wait until after this episode to fiddle with those. So this happened near Haven. That's so it's in Ferelden was where the conclave was. Oh, I guess the site of the Urn of Sacred Ashes. That'd be a, a good place for it. But I hope the the uh, divine mother or divine no, just the divine is what they call her. I hope she wasn't there. That's not good. Justinia was an interesting character. I barely even met her. The pulses are coming faster now. I 
the face does look a little weird, grow, but the more rifts appear, that's okay. The more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Everything farther in the valley was laid waste, including the Temple of Sacred Ashes. I suppose you'll see soon enough. Uh oh. Cool place to start the game, though, at the temple. Is that a coincidence that it happened here? Or was it the magical energies? Stay Shade. behind me! Am I doing that or is the rift? Alright. Press R to or left mouse button to attack. R is auto attack, I think I down too. Hold R or left button continues the attack. I have some skills, it looks like. I have Chain Lightning and Flash Fire. Some new skill names. That's me and Cassandra, I guess. Alright. Well that was not difficult. Didn't get a chance to use my other abilities. It's over. Drop your weapon. Now. Hmm. It's like a mage choice, like you can show the magic. Let's see. Do you really think I need a staff to be dangerous? Is that supposed to reassure me? I haven't used my magic on you yet. <sighs> You're right. You don't need a staff. But you should have one. I cannot protect you. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. See, as long as she's not making like weird facial expressions, she looks fine. Press 9 to consume a potion. I'm not Take these hurt. Potions. Maker knows what we will face. Thank you, but I'm not Where actually are hurt. Your Oh, it says who's talking. That's cool. We are on our own for now. The Wrath of Heaven. Get to the Rift of Cassandra. So as I was saying before, I wonder if... Also, the music is really loud, so I might turn that down real quick. Um, audio. I'll leave the dialogue up. Let's turn the music down. A little higher. Alright. That should be good. Oops. Okay, so now if I hit both mouse buttons as I am prone to do, I really don't like that because I have to hold down like I don't know. Okay, I can loot this guy. And I think was it F is search. C was loot. There we go. And then so I liked it better. I actually like the Dragon Age 2 system where E did like everything, or I single key did everything. Damn it! I'm gonna be doing that for a lot until I get used to this using W to move thing. At least for the duration of this episode. Alright, more dead bodies, and we can loot them. If I can remember the key. Get some coin it looks like, and I see enemies up ahead. Abilities consume mana and stamina for powerful combat effects. And they have cooldowns, there, yes. Watch out! If yeah. we flank them, we may gain the advantage. Alright. And that was... Okay, there's my mana. Cool an ability, but... Uh, okay, left click. Or R. Yeah, bear with me. This is going to take some getting used to. Alright, that's our XP bar, I guess. Oh, I don't have enough mana. I used to one. Anything over here? Can I even go over here? Where's the map? Alright, so the map is actually very map-like and not very, like, game- Although it might be- I think this is more of an open-world game, so that might actually make a lot of sense then, to have that kind of map. Why is Cassandra- what does that mean? Is that your buff or something? I have no idea what that- or is that- that must be armor of some sort. Like I said, I have no- I've never played this game before. I know nothing about it, so it's interesting to see how things work. 
So yeah, you can. It seems more like Skyrim in a way, where you can actually like explore anywhere you can see. I feel like. I feel like when um. When Skyrim launched and was so successful, that kind of forced other game series to sort of adapt because they know that users are expecting a Skyrim experience. Which I'm not sure. I kind of like the different game development studios were doing different things with gaming, especially with RPGs, with fantasy RPGs. But um, like The Witcher as well. I believe The Witcher 3 was made a lot less linear than the other ones. And a lot more like open world like all right the good thing is we do have this little quest marker here and there's north so that part i like controls not liking i target him with it's still easy to target okay that shock did like nothing i think my auto attack did more i guess i feel like my attacks do nothing i'm getting shot by this shade over here whatever that is Did 38 damage. How much does my auto attack do? 16. So it does do more. And there's loot. See, I want to make. Was it E loot? I think that's what it used to be last time. C is it in Guild Wars 2, so I think maybe that would be okay to bind. But um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's not. It's not feeling right to me. So we'll see. I guess X is A. Maybe I should do X. I think C is interacting doors too, and X is. Now she, what is this? Like full? Like she, her buff? I have no idea what that is. It's a cool looking symbol, but I have no idea what it means. I might um have to read the instruction pamphlet after this. Although I downloaded the game online, so I gotta find the instruction pamphlet. I assume it's a PDF somewhere. All right. For now, though, let's get to the rift. Or are those, what are they? Wraiths. Right, so it is an AoE. Flash fire, ignite impact. Panic foes can't attack, but will snap out of it if damaged. So they're basically CC. Yeah, I keep hitting. Okay, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna get these codes for a second, I think. Cassandra, you're my tank. Taunt. Oh, you have to target after you use. Okay, I'm gonna use a potion. Oh, yeah, this is. Target and auto attack are not the same thing. Like it wasn't in Dragon Age 2, so that's really weird. Definitely going to play with the key bindings after this. Alright, got those race destroyed. Let's loot them. Is there another one up there? There is. Somewhere. Why does he have is that like a, a shield bar? What is that? Why is he a different color? Yeah, I keep spam tapping E. Alright, we killed him. F searches for loot and things. This piece over here, which we left. I'm gonna do a quick save just because I don't want to have to remake this character again. So, do that. What did I buy quick save to? Is it? Oh, there it is, down there. Okay, sweet. All right, we're making progress. I wonder if this area reflects the area in Origins in any way. If they just totally made it anew and said like you were coming we're from the other side of the temple. You can hear the fighting. Keep yeah, I can. Fighting. You'll see soon. We must help them. The Templars against the. I think the Seekers were a branch of the Templars. Like they were made to like, like the military police in a way, to investigate the Templars and keep them in check. Great job with Meredith there. But, but um, the Templars broke away from the Chantry to hunt mages. Which I don't know if I really buy. That seems kind of odd. Like their whole purpose is to be part of the Chantry. I understand they really want to do their job, and the Divine might have been holding them back in their view. But... Hey, I recognize that dwarf. He looks different, though. Before more come through. Hello, Elven Mage. What did you do? Did that work? I did nothing. The credit is yours. So I guess whatever happened to me allows me to close these mini breaches. At least this is good for something. Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. But who are you? Good to know. 
Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Barak Tethras, rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. <laughs> That's right, they they have a history. Um. Are you with the Chantry, or...? <laughs> Was that a serious question? Technically, I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca and I have been through a lot together. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. Interesting. I wonder... I don't still know who he is. If he was here at the Conclave? Because they said I'm the only survivor, so maybe he was on his way here when it happened. Um, I wonder how long this has been since Dragon Age 2 as well. Probably not long after the... Uh, the final three-year gap between when Meredith was killed and when Cassandra interrogated Varric. You seem to know a great deal about it all. Like you, Solas is an apostate. Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade, far beyond the experience of any circle mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed regardless of origin. See, I'm not the only elf with weird facial proportions. That's good to know. So, as far as the plot goes, it seems this is not a new idea. There are evil rips in the world, and you are the only one who can close them. That, uh, I'm sure it's been done before a number of times. But, Bioware are very experienced storytellers, and I'm sure they have some interesting ideas what to do with that, that, uh, cliched plot. That will be cool to see. That's a commendable attitude. Merely a sensible one. Although, sense appears to be in short supply right now. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is a mage, but I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. That makes two of us. Alright, so I hate leaving you guys on a cliffhanger, but I think that's about long enough for our first episode. So I'm going to save the game here, if I can figure out how. And when we come back, we will follow Cassandra and Varric into the valley and find the breach. I'll see you guys in episode two.